Hello everyone, and hello to my future me five years from now. Uh, my name is Nicholas Simone, and I am a student who lives in Manhattan, but has worked in a suburban school district of New York for his entire career. Uh, I hope that I have successfully completed my doctoral program in curriculum, instruction, and the science of learning by now, and that I have defended my thesis well with the help of the exceptional faculty at the University of Buffalo. I am someone who knew from the time he was in elementary school that I would embark on a career in education. Five years from now, I will be completing my 29th year as a social studies teacher. Uh, education is not only my profession, but it has been my lifelong, lifelong passion. Uh, I have lived through several different uh, and what I consider unsuccessful attempts by the federal and state governments to reform education. Uh, ever since the release of the federal report on the state of education, titled The Nation at Risk in the 1970s, one president after another has been faced with the daunting challenge of addressing the failures and, inequity, in, and inequities of our educational system. Uh, the ineffectiveness of President Bush's No Child Left Behind legislation, uh, in my opinion, was only made worse by President Obama's Race to the Top initiative uh, that placed an enormous emphasis on standardized test results. Uh, and now the truly tragic proliferation of school shootings uh, has left the nation dumbfounded on how to keep young people safe while they na navigate a far more complex world than the one that we lived through when we attended school. Uh, so I decided to pursue a doctoral degree in education with the goal of increasing my knowledge through research and practical application about what works in the classroom and how we can vastly improve our educational system to meet the needs of all students. So often, we hear, uh, both as educators and those in the workforce, how uh, we lament the fact that our young people are just not prepared to be productive, productive members of a 21st century globalized economic landscape. However, with all the changes and the new initiatives that, that have come across our schools, we seem to continue to uh, employ a 19th century platform to educate our students. Why do so many schools continue to have a bell schedule with eight or nine class periods where students and teachers meet each other at the same time of day for the entire year? Why do our subjects, such as English, math, science, and social studies, continue to be referred to as the main or major classes for students? So my primary interest as a, as a researcher and doctoral student have been related to the scheduling of the school day, as well as the implementation of interdisciplinary models of instruction. Undoubtedly, there are schools across this country that are utilizing innovative strategies with regards to scheduling and interdisciplinary learning. And my hope is that my future researcher self has been able to conduct considerable educational research to both learn from uh, various studies while also helping to share these ideas with more locations. My initial coursework in the CISL program exposed me to the significant wealth of educational research that has already been conducted on a wide range of topics. Since I previously completed a master's degree in educational administration, I hope that my future researcher self has been able to combine the benefits of educational research with the practical components of leading a classroom or a school. I hope that my future researcher self has made great strides in studying various paradigms and scheduling in order to collect data, both qualitative and quantitative, that can best analyze and evaluate how well students learn in various settings. I also hope that my future researcher self is able to demonstrate the drawbacks of our traditional school structure, one that is simply not conducive to learning in the 21st century globalized world. My current self is just starting to learn about the role of an effective researcher, and I certainly hope that my future researcher self has paid careful attention and worked diligently to hone my skills so that I can help improve the state of education in this country. We arguably have more financial and technological resources than we've ever had in education, as well as a wealth of research at our disposal. There is no excuse for our educational system to be anything less than the best we have ever had. I hope that my future researcher self, along with his peers in, his, in this program, can use our own doctoral educational studies to make a positive difference. Thank you.